Hello, and welcome to True 100% Plus, episode 40. Woo! Hello, I'm back. It's only been like two weeks. Hopefully these episodes are coming out faster now, because of the whole recording on Twitch thing. Uh, thankfully, everyone seemed to say that the quality and everything was fine last time I uh, did this recording method, so that's good. So I'm going to continue to do that. Continue to stream these episodes on Twitch and stuff. Uh, which was, I'm very glad I did, because this episode is the basketball episode. Where I just play basketball for like, well, I don't remember how long it is, I haven't edited it and it's been two weeks since I did it, or a week or whatever. But I play basketball for a very, very long time, but I'll, I'll get into that in a bit. Uh, but yeah, it also lines up because it's the 10th digit episode, 10th digit, 10th multiple of 10 episode, that's right. Uh, it's episode 40, and normally I do like question and Q&A YouTube comment interaction things on these episodes. Uh, so thanks a lot for last episode for sending me a ton of questions and stuff. Uh, I haven't gathered a list yet, but I'll have a quick scroll through the YouTube comments in a sec uh, when I've done introducing things. Uh, obviously right now what's happening is that I'm uh, eating food. Um, a problem with playing basketball for an infinite amount of time uh, is that you kind of starve to death. <laughs> so... I need to do a lot of preparations in order to delay that as long as possible. And uh, I also want to go collect a thing before we do it. But anyway, uh, that'll ha happen in the background. That's not too interesting. I'm just eating food and going to a place and stuff. It's all good. I also need a poly spike and stuff, but I think I'd do that as well. But it's, it's all fine. I'll let that play out in the background. Uh, this is going to be it's gonna be a long one. And I kind of don't have too much to talk about. So I really want to just dive into the YouTube comments as quickly as possible. Uh, so I'll try to do that. Let me load up the old YouTube comments and uh, have a look. All right, what's... I bet the very first one I'm going to read is going to be like a really stupid one. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing this live, but like I said, this is a long episode, so... I should probably pad it out by doing all this crap. All right, let's see. Loading, loading, loading. Here, what's the top YouTube comment? <clears throat> uh... Well, uh, Josh, you haven't reviewed every single pixel yet. You missed a load of cutscenes at the start. This is not a real master save. What are you talking about? Why? Why do people want me to review every single pixel? Like, what does that even mean? <laughs> like, okay, you know what? We'll address this, okay? If I had to review every single pixel, there's like... Ah, uh, there are so many pixels in this game. Do you know that? <laughs> Do you know how many pixels there are? And everyone during the master save was complaining about how long it was taking to do with the master save anyway. And, you know, all the fucking memes about, oh, we're coming to the end of the master save and shit. It was pissing me off. Well, if I fucking reviewed every single pixel, I think the master save would take a little bit longer, wouldn't you? I'd have to, like... How do you even mean review every pixel? Do you mean, like, every pixel on the map? Or do you mean, like, every pixel in the... The, the screen, the video. I, I'd imagine the latter, because if it was the former, then it doesn't have to be a master save. I could do it at any point. But if it's the latter, then I'd have to do it during the master save, because there's a bunch of cutscenes and stuff that only happen in the master save. And, and I'm playing at fucking, like, 1440 by 1080. Do you know how many pixels that is? Let me fucking get my calculator. 1440 times 1080... That's 1,555,200 pixels per frame. And the game runs at like 25 frames a second. Let's times that by 25. So in order to get one second of master save gameplay, I would have to review 38,880,000 pixels. All right, do you know how long this would take? Like, let's say every cutscene. I mean, there's, there's a few cutscenes at the start, right? And those are the only cutscenes I would watch, I guess. And then I would review, like, vigilante text or something. Or the unique stunt jump camera angles or stuff I can't do again. I don't know. But let's just say there's, like, how long's the first cutscene? Like, 30 seconds? This times out by 30. I'd have to review 1,166,400,000 pixels. <laughs> like, fucking... <laughs> that's a lot of pixels. Jesus, that would take so fucking long. I can't do that. Like, bloody hell. Okay. Right, hopefully I've addressed that. Can't review every single pixel. Stop asking me about it. 
Okay? Right, okay. Next question. Uh, hey Josh, loving the series. Uh, it's going really well so far. I'm really glad you started missions. Uh, read more, yeah, okay. Uh, but you forgot about one thing. You didn't review every fucking pixel! Okay, moving on. Next question. Let's see. <clears throat> uh, Josh, I'm really glad you reviewed every single car and every single gun and everything else. Uh, but you didn't review every pixel. No, okay, that's fine. All right, okay. Uh, what's this one? Uh, uh, da -da -da -da. Episode 2683. Realized didn't rate every pixel. Had to go back. Okay, it's fine. Yeah, okay. Uh, you should... Uh, will you ever review every area at some point? Anything with a name on the map. Okay, and someone replied to them about rating every pixel. Okay, it's fine. <sighs> if I read one more fucking comment about rating pixels. Okay, here's a question, here's a question, here's a question. Uh, would you ever consider redoing Big Smoke's order? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Good God. I hate San Andreas memes. Do you know that? I hate memes. Specifically San Andreas memes. Fuck San Andreas memes, alright? San Andreas was like a cool game, and I started speedrunning it, like in 2013, and all of a sudden, Flying Kitty, as other people start making stupid memes about the fucking cutscenes and shit in this game, and it pisses me off, alright? This is a good game. High quality game, alright? Shouldn't fucking all be about memes. So no, I'm not doing the damn Big Smoke order, like, Jesus. Like, I don't even live in America, I can't even order the same stuff he does, and people have done that already. No. Oh, moving next question. Uh, hey Josh, you didn't write every fucking pixel! Alright, you know what? You know what? Stop, 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 stop. Fine. Fine. That's fine. You know what? We'll have it your way. Okay? Okay, YouTube comments? Is this what you want? I'll do it. I'll, I'll, I'll fucking undo everything. I'll, I'll go back to episode one. We'll go back all the way back. We'll go all the way back to episode one. All right. And we'll go back to the first fucking cutscene. And I'm going to rate every fucking pixel in this whole fucking game. And then I'll make all the ad money. Everyone will love every single episode. And I'll get an extra five million episodes out of this before I finish. Yeah? Is that what you want? Okay, fine. That's fine. I'll do it. Hello, and welcome to episode one of True 100% Plus Plus. Uh, After five years this is the first cutscene of the whole game. Uh, there are lots of pixels in it. We're going to be rating them all, don't worry about it. I would never miss anything like rating every pixel in a game. I mean, who does a let's play about, you know, doing that first? So, of course, of course, I'll do that first, don't worry. Um, but just to get over some things. So, as I uh, discussed in my previous uh, let's play of this game, which I had to delete and start again. Um, there are a lot of pixels. Playing this game at 1440 by 1080, you know, at least it's not widescreen, could be like 16 by 9, that'd be even worse. So thankfully it's 4 by 3. Uh, but even that is still quite a lot of pixels. Uh, so in order to overcome this, uh, I've decided that I'm going to play the game at a much lower resolution. Uh, now, I don't know if you remember really old TV... Oh, this is YouTube, you don't remember old TV is what I'm saying. But... TVs of old that I used to use uh, were 320 by 240 pixels, right? So I feel like that's the sort of game you could have played this on a PS2 on back in the day. It's like the, the lowest resolution you were really going to intended to play this game. Uh, so I'm going to play at that resolution. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot less pixels now, right? But even if I uh, quickly do the maths here, 320 by 240 is still 76,800 pixels, uh, which is quite a lot. Uh, so I decided I'm going to make it even lower than that. Uh, for the purposes of pixel review, I've decided to go 100 times smaller than that. So uh, we'll be rating 768 pixels per frame. Uh, I think this is reasonable. Uh, this is what 32 by 24 looks like. How you been, Carl? Beautiful, beautiful. Um, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's how I'm gonna play the game from now on, so we can manage to review every pixel. Now, obviously, I'm talking over the cutscene here, which is a bit of a problem. Uh, but I had to do this intro and explain this somewhere. So, if you want to watch a, a thing of this, you can do that anywhere. Uh, but yeah, so without further ado, got I've got the very first frame, the very first cutscene, uh, and we're uh, going to review it. Here we go. Alright, so here we are, the very first pixel, very top left pixel. 
after this one. We'll be doing them all in a random order, but I thought I'd start with the first one because that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, this is the, the black bars at the top and bottom of the picture. Uh, this pixel's job is to make it so there are less pixels, uh, and it's doing a very good job of it. It's a full 0, 0, 0 in RGB value, which is pretty good, pretty good. It's a solid black pixel right there. Um, the only issue is that it has terrible proximity penalty. Uh, it's surrounded in all sides by uh, black pixels and I guess the border of your monitor, which is probably also black, hopefully. Uh, so it has terrible proximity penalty, not interesting at all, not unique, just pure black, not even like a gradient towards the other colors or anything, just just that. So yeah, proximity penalty, 2 out of 10, bring on the next pixel. Second pixel, uh, it is what I would describe as a grey pixel, that's a G-R-E-Y for you Americans out there who are sorely confused, see the light my friends. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, it has an RGB value of uh, 179 on on all all uh, all values, so it's a true grey pixel. Like they didn't fuck around, they didn't give it accidentally a little too much red or a little too much blue. Like no, no, it's 179 on all of them. Uh, trust me, I checked, so that's good. That's good. Uh, I believe this pixel is from sort of above CJ's head, looking at it. It's like the the pixel that's a mix of the the wall behind him, but it's also some part of the sign of the 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 airline. I can't I can't remember what it's called, but anyway, it's sort of a bit of that as well. So the color isn't quite uniform across the entire wall, but we'll see. Maybe the RG bad values will be different. Uh, so I can't really give it that bad a proximity penalty because it's part of the sign. Uh, if you look at the original image again, the wall is all sorts of slightly different colors of the gradient. Uh, as the lighting of the wall and the sign and stuff changes it. So so no proximity penalty here. Uh, it's pretty okay. Uh, I'd give it like a, 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 a 7 out of 10, I guess. Okay, we've landed on our first non-grey, non-uniform RGB value pixel. This is, this is really exciting. Um, this pixel, I think it's from the top right of the screen, the very top right where the, the letter R is in the word air. Um, for some reason, the R is like a tiny little bit brown, whereas all the other ones are like just uh, gray and white. So I don't know why that's the case. Maybe it's like a lighting thing or something. But, but regardless, all right, hold on, hold on your hats to this one. It has an R value of 189, a G value of 182, and a B value of 174. Okay, that's like. Fucking hell, that's like a 15 variance between R and the B. So if you want to want to try and make this pixel at home yourself, there you go. There's, there's what you need. Uh, 189, 182, and 174 RGB. That's, whew, look at that fucking, look at that pixel. I mean, what, what, what more can I say? Like, it, it, it's part of the R in air. And R is a pretty important letter in air, I guess. Otherwise it would just be air. Right? So, no proximity penalty. It's like the only pixel on this whole fucking sheet that's this exact color. I I, I don't know why, but this, 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 just the R is just that color. So there you go. No, absolutely zero proximity penalty. Completely and utterly unique in every way. Just like me. So I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it the 10. It's, it's, it's going to have to get a, a 10 out of 10. Again, like me. So this next pixel, uh, you look at it, and you're like, oh boy, Josh, that's a that's a pretty white pixel. That's pretty dull, right? It's, you know, nothing interesting here. It's just, just a white pixel. Well, uh, I have some news for you, all right? Just like, just like every single one of us, this pixel hides a dark secret, naughty secret, a secret wouldn't want to reveal to anyone. Do you know what this pixel's secret is? This pixel's secret... Is that it's not actually white. No, no. It's not 255 on RGB values on all of them. It's not even the same value on RG and B. No, no. This pixel is more red and green than it is blue. Okay? I won't tell you the exact numbers because it's pretty shocking, alright? But let's just say there's 
over ten difference between the biggest and the smallest number. Okay. Now I'll, I'll let your imagination run wild with that one. All right. Don't get too crazy now, and and don't stare at it too long because you might start to have questions about your sexuality. But that's fine. Just we'll move on. This pixel, it's it's just not just not right. Six out of ten. Now I don't know what Rockstar's intention was with this pixel, uh, but whatever it is, uh, I can tell you they didn't succeed in it. Uh, so this pixel is of the uh, red lines uh, underneath CJ's uh, arm as he's putting the suitcase on the thing. Uh, you know, behind the wall in the, the back bit. Where it is isn't important. What's important is that it's not really red. I, I know I keep hammering on about these RGB values, but, but hear me out on this one. 186 red. Like, you're thinking, okay, Josh, that's pretty red, all right? It's like almost max red. Uh, but it has a green and blue value of 47, both of them. Now, I don't know about you, but I like my reds with just a little bit more blue than green, all right? Now, now that may be a bit of a controversial opinion, okay? But I think with the scene Rockstar was setting here, with with what they were going for, with what was intended, Ended, which is the most important thing, I think they just needed that little bit more blue to really, really hammer it home, okay? Now, if you can just if you could just overlook that, I think this pixel is pretty good. It's 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 really different in the scene. It really sets a tone, right? Like this this air company, they're all about white, grey, concrete walls, but just a little bit of red, you know, just a little couple stripes of red just just you know here there it's just it's just a little bit of personality breaking through the the corporate you know military industrial complex that is the concrete wall right just a little bit of red so so it's important to have that red but i still stand that if rockstar really wanted to do this pixel justice they needed just a couple more blue values i'm not sure what terminology is but i'm gonna go with it blue they needed just a few more blue rgb values now like i like i just said i'm no no expert in in color values i mean i'm I'm calling this color red i mean i'm sure it's, it's like got some fucking fancy name like like rose red or or something I, I don't know maybe i could look it up uh maybe you could do that at home let me know in the comments you know if this red has an actual name and um, maybe there are color experts out there that disagree with my controversial blue opinion um, but I really feel that, again, if Rockstar wanted to hammer home what they were getting here, they needed needed the blue, really needed the blue. But regardless, still pretty good. Still still a 7 out of 10 for me. I, I mean, I know you may disagree with that, but but I, I still think it's a 7 out of 10. Okay, we're well, on to our first uh, CJ colour, I believe. Um, this is from the back of CJ's shoulder, I think, exactly. Um as he's, you know, leaning over again, putting the suitcase on the the, the, the cargo area hold thingy, uh, or picking it up or whatever he was doing, I don't even know. But anyway, yeah, this is our first CJ color. Now, I know, I know, I know what you're all going to be thinking. Is he really going to talk about this? Is he really going to discuss that CJ has slightly more R than any other value? And yes, I'm going to go there. I know this is going to make the the entire YouTube comments a complete cesspool of all the the RGBists out there just that love San Andreas for whatever reason I don't, I don't know why it happens uh, I certainly never felt that way um, despite what YouTube may say about me uh, I actually really don't care that CJ has slightly more R than any other value even my cat has slightly more r than any other value and and that's fine that's fine like i'm okay with that i know i'm a blue guy i'm like i'm a, i'm i'm really a blue guy all right but but that's okay he's not any less of a person he's not eh, his opinion still still stands with me i still really love his character and it's just a completely different world it's you know to me as a kid exploring this r over blue world uh 
it was really unique and really different. And, and a lot of people nowadays take it out of context. Uh, but back then, you know, it was it was, it was really good. Uh, so I think it represents the whole community of that really well. Uh, and it's really good for it. So anyway, uh, this is CJ's Pixel. Uh, we Now that we've covered that bit, we can actually talk about the Pixel itself. Now this Pixel... I think tells a story about CJ, at least to me. I, I don't I don't know if it does to you, but I'll try to get it across, okay? CJ's a guy who who traveled across America looking for where he belong belongs. Um and and this pixel it shows where he belongs. He he belongs wherever he belongs, because he is CJ and he is slightly more R than G or B. I need to stop talking about that. Because that's not what matters. What matters is the pixels on the inside. Uh, and I think Rockstar actually does backface culling, so he doesn't actually have any pixels on the inside. But that's okay, because neither do we, really. Neither do we. 3 out of 10. All right, I have a grey pixel. Uh, all values are 97, which is pretty perfect. Pretty pretty even distribution of grey. It's right in the middle of the range as well, like around you know the middle of 255. Uh, easy, easy 6 out of 10. Next. Aha, this next pixel is one I'm glad we got to. Uh, so this pixel is is something I yeah I really wanted to talk about. Uh, behind CJ, there's the, the wall or the, the desk, whatever, that the lady is at. Uh, the very top of it has this big grey block on top, which a uh, sign sits on top of or whatever. But but one thing I really want to talk about, this big grey block, it's not actually fucking grey, alright? It has an R value of 120, and the G and B is 118. Alright, now someone at Rockstar must have got fired for this blunder. Surely, surely someone got fired. I don't know whether it was the texture artist, the, the, the fucking art lead... Or Dan Hauser himself maybe should have got fired, or you know somebody at least. But that's not grey, all right. I don't care what anyone says, and I know what you're thinking. Oh, Josh, you're just an Rist. Fucking oh my god, the damn RGBists are here, and oh the R value is a little too high for Josh on this pixel, all right. But no, it's not even. A grey pixel is supposed to be evenly distributed, okay. That's not even distribution. Somebody, some heads must roll. All right. I hope everybody listening to me hasn't heard of this issue before. Is sending a letter to Rockstar right now. All right. I I, I don't know their address. Maybe send an email instead. But I think a letter would really send it home. And should not be really good. Find an envelope that's not quite white or not quite grey. Yeah, that'll that'll stick it to them. But yeah, anyway, back to the actual review. Uh, on top of all of that damning evidence, it's got severe proximity penalty because it's just. It's the whole thing. It's all just this one colour. It's all surrounded by this exact same fucked up colour. Okay? So, it's, it just has to get a, a minus 119 out of 10. Yeah. That's... I, I think we could all agree there is the obvious, the obvious solution. Oh, hey, another interesting pixel. I uh, hope we don't front load all of these and, and use all the interesting pixels first but this is a interesting pixel because it's the first pixel we've seen uh it looks like gray obviously but it's not gray uh first pixel we've seen that's actually slightly more green than anything else you know just for a change all the other pixels you know it's been a very red dominated image so far uh but no this one's 79 green 75 red and 74 blue now, I think if we're really trying to do something, you know, blue should be the same as red. But, you know, I can let it slide, you know, just, just for a little bit of green in this image. I think it's okay. So, yeah, this pixel's pretty, pretty, pretty green, pretty good. And I've got to give it a pretty green score of uh, 7.59 out of 10. Ah, I was wondering if this was going to happen. Yeah, this is, a, this is another black bar pixel. Uh, I think this one's from the bottom, though, as opposed to the top. Uh, but yeah, what more can I say? It, it's it's zero in all RGBs, so at least it's a true black. Um, but just the the proximity penalty is just just off the off the scale. If if there was a scale, um, just to illustrate my point, I guess I could zoom in the pixel. 
you know, fill the whole screen just one pixel. There you go. So that's 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 the kind of proximity penalty we're talking about here. Like, look at this. Look at this image. Is it even an image at this point? It's like more of the lack of an image, right? How it's ridiculous. So yeah, I don't remember what I gave the other one, but it's probably pretty low. So I'll give this one, you know, two out of ten as, as well, I guess. <laughs> Next pixel, please. Uh, okay, v- video editing's a pain in the ass. So I'm just gonna leave it full screen for now. Whatever. I think it's better this way anyway. We get the the full full screen effect of the pixels, and they're not really square anymore. I guess they're more four by three, but whatever. It's fine anyway. Regardless, you can see the pixel I'm talking about. Uh, now this pixel <laughs> is another red line pixel uh, again, which I've talked about before, which I I really personally enjoyed. Uh, and this one's actually better than the other ones as well because this one is uh, 188 red, which is which is pretty damn red. Uh, but the greens and blues are both at 22, which is a nice, nice even amount. You know, I, I can, I'm, I'm, I'm good with it. It's a very even, evenly distributed color. Very good. Um, you could also almost say it was pixel perfect. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Um, it's, yeah, it's, it, it, it's a 7 out of 10. Okay, this color is a bit weird. It doesn't even look like a whole pixel. Where the hell on the image is this one? Uh oh, I I guess it's the one like almost at the very top left, the wall. It looks kind of weird though. It's a bit more green than anything else. It's kind of weird. Okay, well, I guess it's just a random green pixel in the Rob Starmaster just fucked up a little bit. How strange. So yeah, here's, here's this random green pixel, I guess, caused by like a light or something in the background. Um, I don't know what to say. I can't really give it proximity penalty. It's probably the only, the greenest pixel on the board. On the board, on the, the picture. Um, yeah, it's pretty okay. Uh, I don't know what story it's trying to 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 tell or add to another story it's so weird in this image um i I guess it's pretty unique so i'll 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 give it a five out of ten middle of the road middle of the road five out of ten all right what's the next one okay what the fuck is that where the hell is that pixel that there isn't anything that green did i accidentally take a picture of the wrong frame or something was there a plant or something in the cutscene is what the hell's wrong with this program? Next next pixel. What the hell's the next pixel? No, okay, that's even more green. It's like a, a darker green. What what the fuck image am I looking at here? Zoom out. How do I get this how do I get this program to z- zoom out? Ah, I figured it out. Okay, let's let's see. Alright, it's going slowly. Come on, come on, pick up the pace. A little faster. A little 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 faster. Just a bit more. Yeah, here, here we go, here we go. Okay. So it's like Lots of brown. There's some green in it. Is it like a plant or, or? Oh my god! 